Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to perform function operations and also talk about composition of functions. Okay, so let's talk about operations of functions. I have the operation, the definition, and then an example. All right, so operation in this case would be addition. My definition, if I have h of x is equal to f of x plus g of x, and I define f of x as 5x and g of x is x plus 2, and I'm just simply adding these two functions together. So it becomes 5x plus x plus 2, and 5x plus x is 6x plus 2 remains plus 2, and I end up with 6 plus 2. So very straightforward addition, h of x is equal to one function plus the other. I'm just adding or combining like terms. Subtraction, same process, h of x, except now I'm subtracting one function from another, f of x minus g of x, as f of x is defined as 5x, g of x is defined as x plus 2. So I'm subtracting now x plus 2 from 5x. Now, you have to remember that x plus 2 is an entire function, so I'm subtracting not minus x minus 2, I'm sorry, not minus x and then adding 2, I'm subtracting the entire function, which is x plus 2. So I have to distribute the negative sign. 5x minus x leaves me with 4x, and then 5x minus 2 leaves me with minus 2. All right, so 4x minus 2 is the result of that function. Multiplication. In this case, h of x is equal to f of x times g of x. So now I'm multiplying the two functions together. Again, I have f of, uh, f of x equals 5x times g of x, which is equal to x plus 2. So I have 5x times, in parentheses, x plus 2. I use the distributive property to distribute 5x through both values in the parentheses. That leaves me with 5x squared plus 10x. And then finally, division. I have h of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x. In this case, very simply, I have f of x, which is 5x, over x plus 2. I can't simplify it any further and I leave it as it is. All right, so these four operations, very straightforward, will give you different values for f of x and g of x. Uh, let's talk about now composition of functions, and after this we'll go through some practice problems. All right, composition of functions, the composition of functions is the inclusion of one function into the other. So I can write composition of functions as h of x is equal to g of f of x. And so what I want to do in this case is I want to figure out what f of x is equal to and then use that as x for g of x. All right, so let's take an example. If I have x is equal to 5 and f of x is equal to 2x plus 2 and g of x is equal to x squared and I want to find uh, h of x, which is going to be g of f of x, the first thing that I do is I find out what f of x is. So f of x is 2x plus 2. Now I'm going to substitute in 5 for 2, and I get 2 times 5 plus 2, which is equal to 12. All right? Now I have that value of 12, and that value of 12 is equal to the x value for g of x now. So now I have g of x when x is equal to 12, and g of 12, g of x is equal to x squared. So in this case, x is 12. So now I square 12, and I get 144 as my result. All right, let's take a look at a couple of practice problems. I have, now we're going to use uh, addition uh, as one of the operations, and then we'll get into composition of functions in just a bit. So I have f of x plus g of x, where f of x is equal to x to the 1 half plus 2, g of x is equal to 3 uh, x to the 1 half minus 1. So f of x is x to the 1 half. I write down the problem plus 2, uh, and then I add plus 3x to the 1 half minus 1, which gives me 3x to the 1 half, and then minus 1. x to the 1 half, x to the 1 half, I have like radicals or like rational uh, terms, or like values. So I have 1x to the 1 half plus 3x to the 1 half, gives me 4x to the 1 half, plus 2 minus 1 leaves me with plus 1, and that's my result. Uh, in the second, I have f of x plus h of x. f of x is x to the 1 half plus 2. h of x is equal to negative 2x minus 1 half plus 3. So remember, if I'm adding the uh, functions together, they're 
uh, sign remains the same. I don't need to worry about distributing the negative sign, so I just write it straight out. Again, like terms, x to the 1 half minus 2x to the 1 half gives me minus x to the 1 half, plus 2 plus 3 gives me plus 5, and that is my result. Okay, moving on to the next slide. Now I'm going to multiply the given operations. I have f of x, which is 4x to the 3 halves, uh, times g of x, which is 2x to the 1 third. I'm going to multiply my coefficients first. Uh, I get 8, and then I'm going to use my properties of exponents, uh, which I hope you remember. And I have the same base but different exponents, so I'm going to add the two exponents together. This is the same as uh, 9 to the 6th, because I need to get a common denominator. This is the same as 3 to the 6th. 9 to the 6th plus 3 to the 6th gives me 12 to the 6th. So I have 8x to the 12 6 which is the same as 8x squared. Okay, f of x times h of x now. I have 4x to the 3 halves times uh, h of x, which is negative 6x to the 1 half. I might multiply the uh, coefficients separately. I have negative 24. Again, I'm going to add the exponents together. I have the same base, different exponent. 1 half plus 3 halves gives me 4 halves. 4 halves is the same as uh, squared, or, uh, squared value, so x squared. So again, x to the 3 halves uh, times x to the 1 half gives me x to the 3 halves plus 1 half as an exponent, which gives me x to the 4 halves, which is equal to x squared. <clears throat> and this is my result. Okay, next set of problems. Actually, I want to go back here, and what I want to do is I want to subtract, let's make number 3, f of x minus g of x. So I have f of x equal to x to the 1 half plus 2, and now I'm going to subtract g of x. And now remember, I need to put this in parentheses because I have to distribute the negative value. Uh, minus 3x to the 1 half minus 1. As I distribute the negative sign, I get x to the 1 half plus 2 minus 3x to the 1 half plus 1. x to the 1 half minus 3x to the 1 half gives me negative 2x to the 1 half plus 2 plus 1 gives me plus 3. Okay, so I just want to make sure that you understand the difference between adding and subtracting in uh, function operations. All right, moving on. I believe I have three more sets of problems left. I have f of g of 1. So in this case, I'm going to, now I have a composition of functions. So I'm going to take g of x, and I'm going to substitute 1 for x in this case. So I have g of x is x squared minus 1. I'm going to substitute in 1 for x, and I get 1 squared is 1, minus 1 is equal to 0. So when g is equal to 1, x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So now I want to take f of 0. I write down f of x, it's 2x plus 3. I substitute in 0 for x, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is going to be my answer. Okay, h of g of 4. So I have uh, g of x, uh, which is a function x squared minus 1. I substitute in 4 for x, I get 16 minus 1, which is equal to 15. Now I have 15 is a value, which I substitute in for x and h of x, h of x is equal to x plus 1 over 5. So now I have 15 plus 1, or 16, over 5, and that is my result. Okay, last, I have h of negative 6. So I substitute in negative 6 for x and h of x. I have negative 6 plus 1 over 5. That leaves me with negative 5 over 5, which is equal to negative 1. Now I use this value of negative 1 as the value for x and f of x. f of x is 2x plus 3. So I have 2x plus 3 as f of x. I substitute a negative 1 for x. It gives me 2 times negative 1 plus 3. This is negative 2 plus 3. And I end up with positive 1 as my result. OK, uh, perform the uh, given operation. And this is just more of the same. Uh, but in this case, I'm incorporating a function within a function. All right, so I have f of g of x. 
So whereas in the prior example, I was substituting in a value for x, now I'm going to su substitute the entire function in for x in f of x. So f of g of x, I take g of x first, which is 2x plus 5. And I'm going to substitute this entire value in. We're going to say that this is equal to x in f of x. So I have f of x is equal to 2x to the negative 1. I'm going to take this value and substitute it in for x. So I get 2 times 2x plus 5 to the negative 1. Order of operations says I need to handle the exponents first. So this becomes 2 times 1 over 2x plus 5, which leaves me with 2 over 2x plus 5. That's the answer to number 19. I'm going to go ahead and erase part of this so I can move on to 20. So again, I'm just taking a function and substituting that in for x in a subsequent function. So I have g of uh, h of x. In this case, h of x is x minus 4 over 2. And I'm going to substitute that in for x for g of x. So now I have 2 times x minus 4 over 2 plus 5. So you see I had 2x plus 5, which was g of x. I took this value as x, and I substituted it in for x. And now I'm going to solve. 2 times x minus 4 over 2. 2 simplify to 1. I'm left with x minus 4 uh, plus 5, which is the same as x plus 1. All right, last set of questions. Let f of x equal these values, g of x equal this value, h of x equal this value. I'm going to state the domain of the operation. So the values that I can put into the function to give me a real result. So f of x plus g of x, so I have 2x plus 2 plus x squared. I can rewrite this as x squared plus 2x plus 2. And I can put in any value, any real number value for x and get a real number result. Number 26, I have h of x, which is 3 over x minus 2, minus f of x, which is 2x plus 2. And I see that in this case, I cannot have a value of 2 that uh, uh, for x. Otherwise, I'll have a 0 as uh, a denominator, and I'll have an undefined function. So as I review the function, now I can simplify this function, but it's really not going to matter because when I multiply, uh, when I try to subtract this value, uh, 2x plus 2, from 3 over x minus 2, I need to multiply uh, this right-hand side value by x minus 2 to get a common denominator. I'll still end up with x minus 2 as the denominator. Um, and it won't matter what's in my numerator. A numerator can end up being equal to 0. The only issue I have is in the case of the denominator. The denominator cannot be equal to 0. And it will be equal to 0 when x is equal to 2. So domain, all real numbers, except 2. And in the first problem, domain is going to be all real numbers. So remember, domain is the input and the range will be the up. That's it for performing function operations, both lesson and practice.